Patrick Day, everybody. <laughs> I like that bit. That's a good call. Uh, with that, we're going to go ahead and get started for the meeting. We have several things to cover. Uh, first of which is approval from our meeting, um, our minutes from our meeting on Tuesday, March 3rd. Uh, is there a motion to approve the minutes? So moved. There's second. Second. Motion seconded. All those in favor, see the number saying aye. 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 Minutes are passed. Um, we are going to then take. Um, are we going to do public testimony now or are you going to wait till uh, at the end? I think we can go through these really, really quick. Let's get to it. So that way we somebody can else may show up as well. Okay, very good. Yeah. We'll give people time to show up because yeah. it's important we hear from the public about this as well. <laughs> uh, so with that, we'll move forward on to the next order of business, resolution number 30381 uh, regarding the City of Fountains. Uh, yes, Commissioners. Uh, this is an amendment uh, with the City of Fountains Foundation for work at the William Volker Fountain. As I think everybody's aware, the City of Fountains Foundation is in a fundraising uh, campaign right now to help restore nine fountains throughout the city. This would be for the William Volker Fountain. Um, there would be some PIAC funds designated for fountains, and then the bulk of the funding, which is about a $850,000, would come from the City of Fountains Foundation. We'd recommend approval of the contract. Uh, Casey Cassius is here. Uh, Great. Media past president of the City of Fountains Foundation. If you have any questions, and um, that's our recommendation. Okay, great. Are there any uh, questions at this time? Casey, would you like to say anything? I didn't, if you're just here for posterity purposes, we're always good to see you. Uh, I mean, I'm, well, you're yeah, please do. I think you did a great job for us at the City of Fountains Foundation. Yeah, we're really, on. we're very excited to um, get the work underway and to see the Volker Fountain back in operation. To be honest, it's been idle for a number of years, yes. as I think you all know. And Burns and McDonald has uh, kindly donated the engineering services to make it happen, and Jay Dunn is donating their services as well. So we have great community partners. So I hopefully um, come August 1st, we'll see it back in operation. Great. That's fantastic. Great. Thank you to you and the other volunteers of the City of Founds Foundation for all your great work. It's a great partnership we have. Uh, with that, is there a motion to approve the resolution? So moved. Is there a second? Second. Motion seconded. Uh, all those in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Very good. Resolution passes. Uh, resolution number 30382. Uh, commissioners, I might suggest we could take. Uh, oh, this is going. Yeah. We could take I, this one? Yeah. No, I, I was going to say is we'll take number uh, 82 and then 83. We can do those kind of in a group. Yep. After 83, I agree. 82, okay? okay. Great. So 82 is the one for the time extension for Maddie Roads and the MAPA, which is the uh, arts program. Yes. Uh, mutual mural arts program inspiring transformation uh, would recommend approval if you have any questions Roosevelt lines is here to answer those okay. there any questions of Roosevelt in regards to this yeah. none? okay Harry none uh, is there a motion to approve Moved. is there a second, second. motion second all those in favor say aye. Aye. aye aye very good resolution passes so let's do as uh, Mark suggests to take uh, resolutions number three zero three eight three on through um, Let's go through three zero three eight nine, and then on nine zero, I will uh, okay. I'll abstain on that one. But let's take those, and they're all in regards to uh, Mayor's Night Kicks Club KC programming. Uh, and does Roosevelt? Does he want to make some comments? Yeah, we'll let Roosevelt make some comments. All right, great. Just want to put you on the spot today. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Good afternoon. Wearing green, man. What's going on with that? Uh, you know, I <laughs> forgot. I, I, think <laughs> I don't feel so alone. Thank, <laughs> Thank you for having me. Uh, Roosevelt Lions, manager of community services. Uh, this is our fourth year of Club KC. We're excited to yes. get this process started again. Um, these contracts don't take effect until May 1st. So um, this year we have uh, eight different organizations, which is up from last year. Last year we had five. So. Um, this year we have some new organizations. We have Mary Kelly, <coughs> Kent City Public Library, and also Cleaver YMCA. Returning, we have Guadalupe Center, Arts Tech, uh, Casey Hoops, LLC, Boys and Girls Club, and Atkins Group. Um, we have some additional sites. So last year we had about nine sites. This year we have 15. So it's great. We get to expand our um, kind of expand our programming and you know make it a little more accessible for people uh, we've expanded our the amount of program hours we're able to offer this time around as well so last year I believe we had 427 this year it looks like we're budgeting for 520 program hours which is great um, also the amount of actual nights and events that we're having are, has also increased last year we had about 98 nights this year we have 124 so um, all while keeping the budget exactly the same and actually wow. spending a little less on our on our vendors this year so um, Chantel Garrett is also here from the mayor's office and she worked hard on this as well as 
um, some volunteers to review all these RFPs, which there are nine of them, um, and, and give their feedback. So thank you all of them for spending their time. And I think that's, that's what fantastic, I Fantastic, fantastic. Okay, any questions, Roosevelt, or any comments? I just want to say great work, that was a great work. to you, mm -hmm. Chantal, and others uh, who participated in this. I know this is a fantastic program that we do for the youth of our, of our city. It's a great place for us to be as a Parks Department to be doing this. Uh, I'm excited about what's what's to come and uh, throughout the throughout the summer months. So when is the official start date? Uh, the official start date is Memorial Day weekend. Yes. Okay. Memorial Day okay. Weekend. Great. And so it runs run basically through the entire twelve summer. weeks yep. until Labor Day weekend. Yeah. Fantastic. And then we're after gonna, that we yeah. rock the block. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, fantastic. Okay. Well, we commit. really appreciate the cooperation and the uh, uh, guidance from the mayor's office on this too, because it makes it much more successful when we have that citywide backing and everything so it's greatly appreciated yep. i want to commend you all on the reach even further out to the community expanding the site expanding the locations it's just really going to make a make a difference in a positive way to affect that many more residents kids and their families so thanks for your work on making it a safer and more fun city thanks and it's a great way for us to be using utilizing the dollars that we receive when do the sales tax and it's exactly we're doing exactly what we said we were going to do and thanks for Thank everything. You. Appreciate it. Well. So with that, uh, is there a motion to approve? So moved. Is there a second? Second. Motion is seconded. Uh, any further discussion? <coughs> Hearing none, all those in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Very good. Resolution is passed. Uh, resolution number 30390. Yes, Commissioners, uh, similar to the prior ones, uh, another uh, contract for the Club KC for the uh, upcoming summer. And again, if you have any questions, Roosevelt is here to answer those. Very good. Are there any questions of Roosevelt? No. All right. Is there a motion to approve? So moved. Is there a second? Second. All those uh, in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. And then I will abstain. So. All right. Uh, resolution number 30391. Uh, yes, Commissioners. This is a uh, amendment number five, Telfair and Brown, for uh, design engineering on more the uh, section of Show Creek Parkway. It's time only. No funds. It takes us to December 31st, 2015. If you have any questions, Travis is here to answer those. Any questions of Travis regarding this resolution? <clears throat> okay, hearing none, is there a motion to approve? So moved. Is there a second? Second. second. Motion seconded. Do any further discussion? All those in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Very good. Resolution passes. Uh, resolution number 30392. Uh, yes, Commissioner, this is amendment uh, number five, uh, SLB program contract with uh, SNA contracting. It's a negative $84,300. Recommend uh, approval and Travis here if you have any questions. Okay, any questions of Travis? Hearing none, is there a motion to approve? So moved. Is there a second? Second. Motion seconded. All those in favor, signify by saying aye. Aye. Aye, aye. aye. very good. Resolution passes, 30393. Yes, Next. Commissioner, the contract with uh, the Cashew, it's a sidewalk cafe license. Uh, 2000 block of Grand Boulevard um, spelled out in your memo from Denise Phillips is the amount of compensation and if you have any questions Denise is here to answer All right. is this a continuation or is this a new contract Denise uh, much like the uh, permit from regulated industries we renew them every year and we'll have several on the next docket as well. Okay. Okay. Very good. I think Very they're busy today, so they might be a little bit busy. Calm down. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. Great. All right. Thank you. Thank you, Dean. Is there a motion to approve? So moved. <coughs> You want to take the second? Yep, then? Yes, okay, very good. Motion second. All those favor, say aye. Aye. I forget. Resolution passes. On to the uh, director's report. Uh, Travis. Good afternoon, commissioners. Good afternoon, sir. Find a document in front of you for uh, some improvements uh, taking place in Margaret Kemp Park. Uh, one of the first items I'd like to talk about is the security camera upgrades and um, security cameras were installed last year. You can see down on the location map those blue dots on the map identify where security cameras were installed in the park. What, what's being added now is a um, wireless link that will allow these cameras to be accessed by the, the emergency operations center. 
We have this same system in place down Soccer Village currently. We'll have it installed here at Kemp, and um, and under construction is also the one over Bud Park. We just uh, we're we're going to identify a location uh, to mount the antenna over there. What's unique about this system is that it has um, uh, speakers, as you'll know, the one of the uh, one of the first photos uh, that are enclosed there, and. Uh, with the uh, controls that are located also over at the restart facility as they're monitoring this they can also they can talk to people in the park if they see activities going on they can say 911 has been notified please leave please you know, you know to discourage <laughs> unwanted activity in the park the the other activity that's uh, going to take place over there is the playground improvements or uh, crews pull out the uh, old playground right now we just have photos of the uh, hole where the new playground will be installed but um, uh, the new playground will like with uh, with all, all of our new playgrounds will have uh, ADA accessible uh, uh, pathways to the playground itself safety surfacing um, various components Heather Runkles the uh, project manager on that project we expect that to be wrapped up this fall over there so the security project we expect that to be wrapped up this summer so any questions when will you start the construction of the playground uh they they've started on they've that started. they've already done the demo, the demo over okay. there so Starting national streetscape right has a contract okay. for that so. that's great thank you thanks Travis uh Heidi is still prayed <coughs> and so uh her memo is pretty self-explanatory Couple things in the printer right now uh, related to the summer guide and the uh, year in review. Uh, so, and then you've got about looks like about 12 or 15 calendar items on here, all the way ranging from the parades that are occurring as we speak, all the way up till the latter part of April. Um, hopefully, some of those are going to be on your calendars to attend. Great. And a little statistics on the website. And that completes the direction report, commissioners. Thank you, sir. Thanks. Appreciate it. Okay, and with that, we'll go ahead and take a public hearing, and it looks like uh, Jim Bowers is signed up, and Mr. Bowers. Thank you, Mr. President, uh, Commissioners. My name is Jim Bowers. I'm a lawyer with White Goss. We have offices at 4510 Bellevue, Kansas City, Missouri. Here today on behalf of several real estate developers, as well as our law firm, in connection with the proposed uh, design standards. Um, I have a, a letter that uh, has been signed by six other companies, including myself, that I'll pass out. There's enough copies, I think, Atlanta for everyone. Um, I don't intend to go through the letter today in, in detail. Uh, it is about 12 pages in length. Uh, approximately 10 pages of it deal with very specific uh, provisions in the design standards raising concerns that we have about the design standards and asking questions about how those standards will be interpreted or applied and I think it's probably prudent uh, rather than try to go through them with you today to allow your staff to respond to these questions and concerns and uh, then we can pick up the dialogue from there as you see fit uh, the, the main point I think is that we believe that <clears throat> Uh, the standards are not yet ready for recommendation. Um, the standards will have a greatest impact in the Northland, primarily in the Twin Creeks area. There are three uh, bodies in the Northland that are looking at these design standards now, including the Twin Creeks Task Force, the Northland Chamber, and the Platte County EDC, uh, to make their uh, recommendations concerning the design standards. They've not completed that work yet, so I would urge you to at least delay to allow them to weigh in on the design standards as well as consider uh, some of our specific comments and questions um, I think we've come a long way since we started um, progress has been made on these standards uh, I think we still have a ways to go uh, I've been involved in, in dealing with these standards for probably I'd say close to six or maybe seven years now um, be seven, seven years yeah right. it's been we've been at it a while uh, uh, the most recent a version um, I saw for the first time uh, February 24th uh, and we had a meeting with your staff and uh, the city attorney's office and city development department to discuss uh, our concerns then um, 
And so um, I, th I think it's a work in progress. Um, I laud you in, in pursuing this uh, set of design standards, but I just think we need a little more time to work through some of these issues and, and try to avoid the problems that uh, occur when design standards such as these are applied to property without having thought through uh, all of the ramifications, not maybe all of the ramifications, but most of the ramifications uh, that occur when standards such as these are applied to specific pieces of property uh, that are subject to development. Uh, so I'll try to answer any questions you have, but with that I'll, I'll close my presentation. Thank you. Are there any uh, questions or comments at this time? I uh, think it would be, go ahead. Go ahead, yeah. go ahead please. Um, <clears throat> we did receive the letter at the, just prior to it, and I haven't had a chance to make it all the way through, but I think it would be really helpful to the extent some of these um, are specific, this section should be deleted, this section should be revised accordingly to have an actual red line document. Um, I don't know if you if the standards are available in you know in Word or whatever, but I think that would really be helpful as far as trying to go through and we could see. we could do that, but I, I thought before we get to that stage, probably raising the questions that we've raised mm -hmm. and getting a response, and then we would know the direction to head with respect to a red line. I mean, right now a red line would be a, a hatchet rather than a scalpel. So <laughs> yeah, I, that's I, okay, and I and yeah, okay, I think it would be helpful though from even from the beginning stage to me mm -hmm. and Jim you mentioned that this is Twin Creek development and predominant more portion of it is in Platte County but a good portion of it is in Clay County you have the uh, Platte County EDC listed but not the Clay County EDC have they been approached uh, they have not been approached by me uh, I, I talked to them briefly uh, I don't know what their position is I would like to see that okay. also we can we can certainly do that Any other questions, comments? Yeah, I would. The basically, the major street plan was very unflexible. Mm -hmm. And basically it said this is what a boulevard, this is what a parkway will be, period. Uh, what we have done over since September is tried to work through those things and make these standards not so restrictive, make them more adaptable to terrain, to environmental concerns, to water runoff and all of these types of situations and I think we've been uh, very conscientious about that when knowing that this is a different time than we have built our boulevards and the parkways in the past however Kansas City is known for its boulevards and parkways it is part of the history and the desirability of people to move here and uh, we want to maintain to a degree, a viable, adaptive set of standards, and that's what our goal is. Uh, do you have a time frame that you are looking for? No, not really. I mean, because I share the same goal that you just expressed with respect to the boulevards and parkway system. What, what our primary concern is that if the design standards are too onerous, too burdensome, property owners will shy away from those properties adjacent to the proposed boulevard system. And instead of having a, 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 an impetus to develop the boulevard system, there will be a resistance to developing property adjacent to it and retard the development of the system. So that, that's one of our concerns. Um, so I, I th it's, it's not an easy task. I, you know, and I, I applaud the work that you've done so far. I, I think I've expressed this in the past and I think you've made giant strides in improving the design standards since we started seven years ago. Uh, that doesn't mean we're there yet, uh, but I don't have a timetable. I mean, we're trying to work through the standards with you as quickly as we can. You know, to that end, uh, you, know, you had mentioned earlier in your comments around that you felt like you said, we made some tremendous strides. You said also at the same time you still feel like we have a long way to go. So our so did we come from this far all the way here, or are we still, are we in the middle in your minds, in the minds of you and the other developers? Yeah, I, I, in my mind, yes, I think we're in the middle. We're in the middle in terms of progress, and so you still feel like we still have 
another seven years to go if it's no. taken seven years no. to go. No. No. I, I guess I'm just trying to understand the context no. by which the comments sort of come, right? And so, I, and it's no way trying to be trivial about this. I, it, it's, I think all of us want to get to an end. And, mm -hmm. and to your point, you could say, well, it could hinder development. That's what we, you know, what you surmise, right? And you're in development. I get that. But we also have proof that boulevards and ridge standards have allowed for growth in the parts of the city here as well growth of the city that occurred because of the parkways and boulevards so you could also take that argument and place it upon you know here within kansas city yeah. now i recognize that we are in a different time and an era and this is a different part of the city but i think that's basically what my fellow commissioner is talking about is that we've tried to make these adjustments accordingly and where there is ambiguity i think there the idea about ambiguity is not there necessarily to then create this well anything could happen it's more to create flexibility as opposed to create this idea about you know of trying to create uh, more problems for the development community or for private landowners to develop their property so what we try to do is come down from the 30,000 foot level and get into the details themselves and and ask specific questions about the details yes. and I'm quite frankly I'm, I'm interested in what the responses are okay. and that will tell me in large part how far we've come or how far we haven't come so okay. Well, this will involve not only the parks department but city planning and right. all of this so yeah. this is going to take probably several more meetings uh, to answer these questions but it's not something that can be done in 15 days 30 right. days 45 days or 60 days it doesn't appear well, uh, so th you know we want to figure on a realistic time frame but uh, we don't want to delay it I understand because development is about to happen right and the longer we delay this the longer we delay this development right. nobody wants that that's not good for the city for the Northland or anybody so we, we want to accelerate it as much as possible so we really probably need to get sit down across the table and do specifics and I think that's a good idea them out. I and think that's, that's going to take idea. some time but I think that's probably where we need to go from from here and, so and we're willing to do that okay well, thank yeah. you very much well and I, I would say one other thing and to, to Mary Jane I do think at some point we should we get to that red line document I, I would also like to know I mean obviously you point out a lot here uh, within the document as to what you you felt like here are some issues that we have if there's some so then is it safe to say that the things that you haven't highlighted you all are in, in agreement with at this point those things that you haven't highlighted within this document or within the bullet well I, I, I'll, I'll put it another way I don't have another list okay. well, <laughs> so, so there, there isn't another gotcha out there mm -hmm. uh, we're not playing that no, game no no, no. And I just no. want to make so, sure that because I think to your point that you give credit saying yeah we've come a ways well then did some that, things are crossed off the list exactly that yeah. we've acknowledged that those <clears throat> things are now no longer issues and that we we don't have to rehash that again in, in these conversations I don't intend to rehash anything that we're not currently ashing. Okay. okay very and to good. the extent, as far as like a workable red line, and maybe that maybe yeah. that is a matter of working with staff, like you yeah. suggested, in getting to this. I mean, but even if areas where there are um, a comment cannot necessarily be where you said, you know, it would be more like a hatchet, just to include those comments. Um, with that. We, we love the idea of flexibility. For example, the question is, the devil's always in the detail in these concepts, and when you reduce that concept of flexibility how do you implement it and how does it work and that's what the that's the kind of questions we're asking in the, in the letter so great great thank you very much thank you thank you very much for your time, you much for your time. Yeah. thanks Kelly okay with that uh, I want to do the quick uh, calendar review yes um, the uh, next item uh, actually that's We've covered pretty much everything on the month of March. Quickly looking at the month of April. Our next board meeting is on the uh, on the seventh. A couple other things that are on here: uh, the Platte County Park Partners on the eighth. Of course, Fountain Day. Uh, it's also on the list that Heidi had made available to the board earlier. Uh, it's 11 o'clock at J.C. Nichols Fountain. And uh, then the next board meeting on April the 21st. Friends of Zoos on the 22nd. Starlights on the 23rd. See what else to do. We're getting our monthly requirement. We got May on here too, don't we? Same kind of standard schedule for May. That's it. All right. Great. Thank you very much. Is there anything else? All right. With that, meeting is adjourned. Right. How's that for a picture?